down to a half. Yeah, that's what she said, because we're only doing half three eight. checkers. And uh, the ones that are half go, they get the full half rather than a quarter. Right. That's the idea. And as that music comes on, here we go, folks. And don't be talking to me this whole game. The other guy can't hear you, and I got a job to do up here announcing. I don't need your commentary. Yes, we are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to roll. We've got Citizens First versus United Healthcare. We are ready to introduce the players here today. So starting with Citizens First, please welcome Lynn Escapite. At the number two position, Jason Cashin. At the number three position, a celebrity. We have done DNA testing and found out that indeed, Casey Hoskins is related to Belden Hoskins, world renowned Belden Hoskins. And at the number four position, a man who needs no introduction because he's wanted in all 50 states, Dale Walton. Now, who's playing first, Coco? For the United Healthcare team at the number one position, it's going to be split today between a husband and wife combo. Doing first tour of duty, welcome Coco Switlick. At the number two position, providing even more estrogen, Laura Wilson. At the number three position, Polo Phenom, 12 year old Nick. Babyface Johnson. And at the back, somebody old enough to be Nick Babyface's dad. Possibly is his dad. We gotta test that too. Jamie Maricatani. Our umpires today are Rick Sears, and then we're gonna have a plethora of umpires because obviously. The best umpire in the nation is announcing the game for you today. So filling in for me in my absence will be all the pros that are playing on each team. That keeps it fair. So Nick Palamoni will be on the first tour of duty here. Nico is going to uh, umpire the first three chuckers. There he is waving his hand at you. Rick Sears is the uh, other umpire on the field. For the second set of chuckers, we'll have whoever, uh, Jamie, or it will be oh, Dale. Dale Walton. We'll see. we got to wait for the outcome of this game. Because this tournament's being sponsored by Macklin Burnset, we have a pair of foxes down there from a distance. One qualifies, one doesn't. That's in my, oh, as if we needed you pointing to know, dude. I told you, Paige is out of town. <laughs> I'll get from that said, Well done. Now run for the hills. Ball's put into play. Walton picks it up out of the bowl end. Dale Walton on the gray horse, turning the ball now. Headed down the field. Trying to cross midfield. Can't get a hold of it. Laura Wilson comes in. She and Hoskins override coming in now. Look at this. Oh, and a whistle. No foul, but... This team's not complaining. It's Mirakatani with the ball for United Healthcare, taking the ball forward. Cashin's there to defend. Mirakatani releases down the field. It's going to make it down to about the 80 yard line, past the 60 now. And that ball's met by Walton. Dale coming the other direction, gets past a crowd of people. And now on a breakaway, look at this horse. This little gray horse can run. And we get a whistle. Looks like a shake. He cranks it down. It's going straight off to the little bit off. Looks like Jason tries to deflect it through. Cashin with an attempt to put that ball through. Here, this is Mirakatani. He's the player on the field with the most vowels in his name. I'm sure there's going to be a award for that someday, just not today. Mirakatani coming back to his own shot that deflects off somebody. Breaking loose now. Goes past Coco, his own teammate, because he's got a breakaway. Look at this, though. The two pros 
Mira Katani and Walton chasing each other. Who's faster, the Bay or the Gray? It looks like so far it's going to be the Bay, but he drops the ball. Walton gets a little bit of a back shot, changes the line. Shot on goal by Laura Wilson. And there's a win. I want to make sure it's a long day. All right, folks, we're early in the game here. Foul called on the field. Ball's placed. Fired away, controlled now by Citizens, but it's turned. Look at this baby face. Taking the ball, trying to get past Citizens defender. His dad, Jamie Maricatani, comes in, takes the ball from him. I said his dad, that's not funny. I find it funny. Okay, I'm the only one. Little bit of a congested area as the teams come together. Look at that. Walton takes it out to the side, tap, tap, turning. Walton at speed now. Don't let this little horse run, because it can. Maricatani hooks him out of the play, but following up, Jason Cashin fires the ball forward. Cashin coming in. Oh! Fouled by his own teammate. No whistle. Lynn Escapate taking the ball forward. Babyface Johnson comes in, tries to steal it from her, successfully does so. Johnson with the ball, looking for Maricatani. Turns it inside a dime. Releases downfield for Maricatani. Maricatani goes past Cashin. Maricatani on a breakaway. Last time he had this. He dropped the ball, but guess what, folks? This time it's a perfect approach shot. Takes Cashin out of the play, and a touch goes through the post. <laughs> These players on each team, and if one outweighs the other, they get a, a goal difference or a half goal difference because they will each face each other for only three chuckers. This team, so United Healthcare gets a spot hit at the place where the foul occurred. That's called a penalty five. Maricatani goes to avoid the concerned about the horses more. This is Maricatani. He could hit the ball once or dribble it in. He tries to dribble. Once he starts this dribble process, he has to continue. He can't suddenly take a full swing and put it through. He's got a horse a little bit in anarchy. Now he takes his tap shot and it goes through. Maricatani with his second goal of the day. Maybe what I'll do since I'm your pilot for the day is I'll give you an explanation of some of the rules and stuff as we go along all throughout the day to where will you leave. You are more educated. You can say no longer ignorant. You might qualify for Jeopardy one day. Ball is backed by Escapite, picked up now by Walton. Walton's horse bounces a little bit, but he's able to get back to it. Being challenged by Maricatani in the purple shirt. Walton, white horse, green and cream shirt, passes it down, trying to find Cash and Cash and shot on goal. Bounces off a pony's foot. It's going wide can't seem to put it in that goes over the end line. When the ball goes wide of goal, 165 rough yards wide if you have boards on it, this one does. They're green, I realize some of you got bad vision and can't see that there are boards on the field, but they are. And if you can't see, that was a shot from Mirakatani down to Babyface Johnson who pounds it downfield. Walton's able to get there, establish himself to turn the ball defensively. He takes it the wrong direction, but that's only to stall for time. He doesn't really know where his teammates are. He wants to find, he actually gets the ball and turns it, heading back the other direction. Got away with one there. Taking the ball forward, look at this. Walton touching the ball on the end of his mallet. Overrides, now the ball's going back the other direction. Uh-oh, it's Mirakatani on another breakaway. This could be painful. Mirakatani with approach shot. It's going a little bit wide right. Last shot to put it in, Walton in pursuit. Mirakatani goes to touch, hooked out of the play by Walton. Left in there, Laura Wilson goes to back the ball and cross it. Can't put it through the post. Picked up now by Hoskins for the Citizens team. Pounds it downfield, this goes to the far boards. Johnson comes in, turning the ball. For United Healthcare, Johnson now. Babyface with the ball, moving it forward. Challenged by one Citizens player, still moving it forward. Challenged by another, still controlling the ball. That what, those bells means there's 30 seconds left in our first chucker. Johnson shot on goal is going, 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 going. Help through the goal. Polo game up. A uh, normal polo game would be six periods called chuckers. They're seven and a half minutes long. 
and after seven minutes there will be a bell sound. Jamie Mirakatani, the last player to return to the field, they're giving him a little extra time to get back on the field. It's because I think he broke a rib last season. So because he's suffering from an injury, not. Ball's put into play. It's Johnson with the ball. Nick Johnson. You got to come up uh, and see him at the trophy presentation. You'll notice he has a very bad accent. Big shot by Johnson. Takes it downfield. Leaves it for Mirakatani, who passes it back to Johnson. Johnson still trying to take it forward. Looking for his teammate. He sees him out front. He releases the ball. Wow, what a shot by Johnson. He's got two players out front. Mirakatani on the near side through the post. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Nick, I wonder what happened when he was a little kid in the house. Is it, Mommy, I want to be a pole player when I grow up. Ooh, whistle right out of the throw in here. It creates a line, just like that. Straight line, like when Dell just hit that ball. And you have to be on the right side of that line, the correct side, in order to have rights. It's like the line down the middle of a highway. Big shot by Walton, passes down to Hoskins. Hoskins takes it down to the 40-yard line. Down to about the 30 now with Cashin in control. Cashin taps it. This one could go through. Cashin over Rice looking for the foul. Not getting a whistle. Flipped out by Mirakatani. And now we got a whistle. Walton for Citizens. Making it look easy. I taught him nothing about polo because it would have involved adopting him. Walton with the ball now, coming through on the breakaway. One umpire collects the ball. Mirakatani moving the ball downfield. Jason Cashin for Citizens trying to put on some pressure. Mirakatani comes through, look at this. What a shot by Mirakatani. He might be able to let that one go and it'll roll through, but he decides, you know what, I'll put on the turbo boost and put it through the... That might have been confusing you, but that's exactly what's happening here. Oh, that stops the clock. We got a tack wrap around that horse's leg, which was there that came loose. They want to call timeout, let you fix that so that horse doesn't endanger the tripping. If that horse were to trip, Jamie Mercatani might come off and it might cause a real big divot on the field. And we don't want a divot on the field. Babyface Johnson with the breakaway out of the throw and look at this. Being challenged by Hoskins. Hoskins puts a near side back shot on the ball, changing directions now. Walton picking it up, taking it across field. It bounces off the boards. Remember we talked about that line of the ball. Every time the ball's hit, it creates a line when that ball bounces off the boards and ricochets, that's a new line. If it comes out at whatever angle it does, that's the new line. Look at Escapate coming through. Collecting that ball, hitting it forward. Picked up though by Johnson for the United Healthcare team. Johnson turning it back the other direction. Ball takes a bounce and Cashin gets it. Cashin trying to cash in on possession of that ball. Pushing on Mirakatani, look at that, ball bounces. Oh, it misses the boards, goes out of bounds. That's a souvenir oil on the rocks to help ease the pain. It works, I promise you. Johnson with the ball again, out of the throw in. Look at this black horse stride out now. Casey Hoskins in pursuit, caught him last time. Can't catch him this time. Johnson hits it a little too far. Ball stays on the field though. It's an impossible shot for Johnson. The only person that could score from there would be Lyle and we got a whistle or me, I would have scored it with the next shot, but. <sighs> Mirakatani intercepting that ball, turning it the other direction. Babyface shot on goal this time, going wide left. It's Del Walton. Walton cranks the ball downfield looking for Hoskins. Hoskins is there. Cranks the ball downfield. Controlling it nicely, putting it inside the defender. Now he hits it downfield. 100-yard shot by Hoskins. 
Johnson's there. Hoskins on the near side, takes the ball forward, trying to get control of it. Comes back, Johnson comes in, moves the ball forward. Keep in mind, we are down at the end of the chucker. Some of these horses getting a little bit tired. That's why the players are kind of using their horse wisely at this point. Johnson taking his time, turning the ball. He knows how much time's left. He looks downfield. He sees Wilson. He sees Coco. He cranks the ball down. There's Coco. Switlick coming in, in control. There to defend. Escapate, Lynn Escapate, but picked up now by Laura Wilson. Coming in, Coco goes, back shot now. Turning the ball for Citizens. It's picked up by Dale Walton. Walton turns the ball. With the top clock ticking away, going downfield. Walton opening up afterburners. Look at this. 30 seconds left. Walton comes through. What an approach shot. It's going to go through on its own. He might get there just in time to say, Hallelujah! <laughs> Dinner offered here at the Villages Polo Club after the wild women of the Villages Polo Club pouring at the end of the last chucker. The ball's put into play. Johnson picks the ball up. But it's intercepted by Walton yet again. It looks like he's riding all gray horses today just to confuse the enemy. Walton, with a breakaway on the gray, puts this ball, look at this, one step closer to glory. Oh, he overrides, but Cashin is there. Cashin with an opportunity to be the hero. Oh, it goes slightly wide right. They know they've got only one chucker. They've got about six and a half minutes now to grab about two or three goals. When three teams play each other, it's a conglomerate of uh, your scoring between the other teams. So you want to you want to win each three chucker set that you can. That's the way to ensure a victory. Uh oh, look at this, Walton now, opportunity to be the hero himself, and he puts it down. This looks like it's a cakewalk. Wow. Man with a more difficult life puts the ball into play, bounces off the horse's foot, goes out to the side, Johnson's there, hooked out of the play by Cashin. Turning quickly, cut. that's Hoskins with the ball. Hoskins on a great, cranks it downfield, being pursued by Mirakatani. The ball's going off to the right. He's got to center it up here now, still trying to control it. Hoskins brings it forward, drops the ball, but Cashin's coming behind at speed. Puts it right back up to Hoskins. Mirakatani's there, backs the ball out of the way. Ball came right past his stirrup giving him the right to make that back shot. Johnson now on a breakaway. Look at that chestnut pony starts to ride, but Hoskins is there first. Hoskins gets in, backs the ball over to, trying to get it to Walton. Walton taps it, takes it forward. Look at Walton. He puts it underneath baby faces horse. Walton controlling now. He's got two purple defenders to get past. He gets past one. Take it out of the play, though, by Babyface Johnson. Johnson backs the ball nicely on the near side. That's the left side of the horse. Finding teammate Laura Wilson. Wilson tries to take it forward. But coming through, oh, we get a whistle. Since they're considered legally blind, I think they do a phenomenal job. And Rick Sears and Nico Talamone out there pulling service. Meanwhile, Babyface Johnson takes the ball, tap, 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 turning it. He's going to get a shot on goal. Ball bounces with a little pressure being put on by Escapite. It's dropped and we get a whistle there. Leaving in traffic. So the ball is placed at the spot of the foul. With 296 yards to go. I'm so, sorry, not 200. It's 297 yards to go. It's Walton. Walton takes the ball up along the sideboards, far boards of the field going at speed. Babyface Johnson there to defend. The only play he had was really to hit the ball kind of out of bounds. Trying. All the other Bolins are going from the center of the field to the boards. When it goes out of bounds, it's reversed. And here we go. Talamone, but we got a whistle. That does stop the clock. They're not getting the line up the way the umpires want. So they stop the clock. Now they bowl the ball in and we're back in action.
Walton. Delmar Walton. Wow, taken out of the plate by Babyface Johnson. Incredible, a 12-year-old takes that man out. Oh, but the 12-year-old drops the ball and Walton picks it back up. Look at this guy. Wow, focused, focused, focused. Touches a horse, Johnson there with a defending shot in front of the goal. Mirica Tani from the one foot line. Oh, Walton with an opportunity hits it wide right. As that should have been a goal for Citizens First. Mercatani wasting no time, takes the ball in from the end line. Taps it forward, can't get back to it though. Cashin is there with an open back shot, overrides. Picked up by Hoskins, Hoskins can't get to it. Babyface Johnson gets to it. Whee! Johnson, down the far side of the field, taking it forward. Bit of a scrum as the balls move slowly forward. Finally now turned by Citizens. Walton coming out with the ball. Look at this. Walton, yet another gray. I promise you folks that is not the same horse that's been playing for three chuckers. He's got multiple gray horses. Cashin on his own gray passes it up to Walton. Walton tries to center it up. He gets it right there. Cashin could be a hero. He puts it through the post. Really bad. One minute left in this chucker. Ball's back down the other way. Mirkatani ridden out of the play by Walton. Look at Walton. Like a thief. Steals. Picks the pocket of Jamie Mirkatani. Grabs the ball. Takes it forward on the near side. Mirkatani with the miracle back shot. Tries to change it up. But it's now Hoskins with an opportunity to put this thing in the last seconds in the over. Wow, it's on the post, it could be, it is! That ends the chucker with Citizens on an incredible comeback in the last seconds, winning five and a half to five over United Health. It will be settled on that field of play. At the number one position, Stan Sandifer will be representing Macklin Burnsett. At the number two position, wearing a red helmet, Janice Pascarella. She's hard to miss because A, she's good looking, and B, she's on a little paint horse. Number three position, Peter Van Gontard. And at four, Nico Talavani. Whistle right away, stops the uh, clock with the ball. Look at this, he cranks the ball one time. Wow, 160 yards downfield. That's impossible if the field's 300 yards long. Come on folks, stay with me. Back shot by Talamone, but there's a whistle first. So we've got uh, the handicap system. So Talamone from 30 yards out. Without hesitation, he puts it through the goal. Macklin Burnt said. Wow, I didn't know it was possible, but Jim Smith assured me it can be done. Congratulations, you guys. Hang in there. You set an example for people like me. Great shot by Talamone setting the ball downfield, looking for Pascarella. There to intercept though, Mirakatani backs the ball over towards the boards. Talamone comes in, gets on the line, backs the ball, but nobody there but Babyface Johnson. Johnson takes the ball kind of the wrong direction, but he's just clearing space on the field. Now he takes it across the field. Look at these two guys working together. That's Johnson that passes off to Mirakatani. Mirakatani taking it forward. Coming in is Talamone. Look at this, they swap off. Mirakatani comes forward. Oh, but a defender comes in. Looked like Mirkatani was going to drop the ball back to Johnson, but decided not to. Petey Von Gontard there now, looking for his teammate. Next shot to Talamone. What a shot by Von Gontard. 
Puts the ball across field to Talamone. Talamone on a breakaway. It's a matter of can he catch up. Laura Wilson on a faster horse. Look at this. Comes in near side shot by Wilson. Is it enough? No! Sears puts the ball into play. Talamone with the ball again. Looks downfield looking for a breakaway. Doesn't quite see somebody. Sanifer's there, but Babyface Johnson's there as well. With a back shot by Johnson, turns the ball, finds Mercatani. Mercatani taking the ball forward. It's going to be a horse race now. Oh, hooked out of the play by Talamone. Good thing he had a 55-inch mallet. Reached out, hooked the mallet, stops the play. Back shot by Burnsett's team. Cannot quite get away from Babyface Johnson. He turns the ball now. Man on his hip. Talamone and Johnson going at it. And we get a whistle. Shot on goal. Look at Talamone making it look easy. It is through the air and through the post. Oh, wee! Floor, thank you very much. Ball's bowled in, but it's not going anywhere. Finally, Mercatani gets a hold of it, and he's taking it down the field. In pursuit, Talamone. Look at Mercatani trying to dribble the ball out in front, keep it forward. Ball's dropped. Oh, word. We got a slow whistle here. Across the line in front, he had to look up, and it caused him to be distracted, so that was the reason for the call. Talamone with the ball for Macklin Burnson, cranks it downfield. He's looking for Von Gontard, but unfortunately finds Babyface Johnson. Coming in now, Stan Sandifer taking the ball off a of bounce. Look at Stan Sandifer. Oh my goodness, folks. What a play. Stan Sandifer goes to put it through, and it goes off the post on the field, wide of goal. Takes the ball in. Mercatani normally would take these, but Mercatani's off the field changing horses, so his teammate takes the ball for him. You can't stop the clock for that. Nice shot by Johnson, changes downfield. Looks like we've got our substitution for this game too, where this is George Schwitlick. Nice carry by George, taking the ball downfield. Picked up now by Laura Wilson. Wilson taking the ball forward. Wilson checks the horse down along the boards, taps it forward, nicely done. Picked up now, Mercatani. Babyface Johnson comes in, hits the ball forward. Johnson looking downfield. Who can I hit to? He sees out front. He's got his teammate. Can he put it to him? Yes, he does. This ball's going to land. Does it go wide or can Mercatani collect? Bounty. He cannot. Cleared out of there by Talamone. Nico Talamone on the far side of the field now. Cranks it downfield. Horse goes around the white spot on the field, taking it downfield now at speed. Coming in to try and get the hook. It's Mericatani. Talamoni. And we get the whistle. To make divots that they're going to use later. Talamoni drives the ball downfield. It's picked up though by Babyface Johnson. Babyface! Open shot now, Von Gontard trying to score. Sandifer's got it right with seconds left. Sandifer puts the ball through the post. And that will end our first chucker. All right, folks, the ball's put back into play. It's the second chucker of our second interval of this Round Robin, Talamone with the ball, drives it downfield, bounces off the pony's hoof, lands on the field, he picks it up again, as if he had that plan. Talamone, long drive downfield, it's going wide right. Oh, no, it's not, it's going wide right of the left post. Overridden by a few different players, but dropped now, finally, right into the lap of Nico Talamone yet again. He takes it forward, can't get to it. Janice Pascarell is there to make a shot at the ball, hooked out of the play by Mercatani, and the ball's dropped. Talamone circled around, comes back. 
drops the ball downfield looking for P.D. Von Gontard. Von Gontard at speed, shot on goal, and it's wide right. Ball's left on the end line now. Knock in for United Healthcare. Mirakatani, the guy with four eyes in his name, way too many vowels for not being Italian. Passes to Babyface Johnson. Johnson cranks it downfield. Trying to give it back to Mirakatani, but right there to defend. It's Petey Von Gontard. What a shot. Angle put on it to Von Gontard to his teammate Talamoni. These folks are on fire. Wow. Von Gontard to Talamoni. Talamoni down to the 15 yard line. Who's going to put it? Nobody's going to put it in. Great shot by Laura Wilson. Changes the line which disallowed Sandifer to shoot the goal. Perfect play by Laura Wilson hitting the baby Ace Johnson who puts it up to Mira Katani. Mira Katani still controlling the ball downfield. Being called to leave it by Johnson. Johnson. Johnson still with the ball. Moves it forward, taps it once, taps it twice, trying to get past the defender, drops the ball. Not intentionally, it just was the challenge. Sandifer comes through, cranks it downfield. Johnson and Talamoni come together. Look, Talamoni gets the ball, can't get curled. It's halfway buried. Oh, the umpire's call. Back in action now. Von Gontard. Because I'm not out there. Yeah, there are yeah, three different umpires. That's Del Wall. Nico Talamoni did the first three. He does that, and then Jay. Back shot by Von Gontard. Intercepted by Laura Wilson. You're going to see a lot of this girl. She's going to be here for the women's tournament. And look at this. She does. Oh! Unfortunately, the ball bounces up, out of bounds. Two and a half minutes left as the ball is put back into play. Johnson picks it up. Wow, this could be painful. United Healthcare needs this goal. And it's Johnson. Shot on goal by Johnson. Oh, my head. It could go off the wide. Talamoni with the ball, brings it in from the end line. Big shot downfield, goes all the way over to the boards and out of bounds. That's a free ball, but folks, wait until they clear. Hey, ladies, get back, get back, get back. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. It's the Sabbath, God is watching. Get ready though. Because you're going to have to elbow that person next to you that really wants it. Watch that one that's going to reach through the shrubs. Wait till they clear. Wait till they clear. All right, get it. Nobody's watching Paula right now. They're watching the everything that's going on the far sideboards. Awesome. Well done. Macklin Burns said back shot. P.D. Von Gontard. To Talamoni. Talamoni with the ball now for her. Macklin Burns said. At speed down the boards. Look at this, we got a defender coming in. Cranks it down looking for Janice Pasquarella. Janice Pasquarella comes in, shot on goal. Takes it forward, nicely done by Pasquarella. Pasquarella's gonna score. Drops the ball, it's back by Mirakatani. Mirakatani's there, clears it, but Von Gontard intercepts and takes it forward. Johnson, pass nicely back to Laurel Wilson on the break. Wilson taking the ball forward. Can't control it, and it's picked up now by Talamoni. Talamoni with the ball. Whoa! Back shot by Americatani. Fired downfield now. Von Gontard, this one's gonna go wide right. From the end line, that's Babyface Johnson taking the ball in from the end line. Taps it forward, changes directions. That line that we're talking about on the ball, that's why he's changing directions. If he puts it in a certain place, he has rights to it. He leaves the ball behind to Mirakatani, just forgot to send him the memo. So there's a little bit of office confusion with two people now. Oh! And it's going to be painful! That will end the chucker. 
And here are the ladies to explain the rules to you. Best case scenario, she will get better but not live at her house every day. Balls bowled in. Rick Sears with the best bowl in I think I've ever seen in all my years of polo. Puts it into play. Picked up now by Talamone. Where Macklin Bird said bounces off the board. He collects it, flips it one side, still controlling it. Now with a big open back shot. Back out of the air by Laura Wilson, but it's picked up by Sandifer. Sandifer controlling the ball. What a pass by Sandifer to. Petey Van Gontard, who fires the ball down. It's going to stop on about the 20-yard line. Sandifer is fighting with Baby Say. Oh, look at that. What a play by Stan Sandifer taking the defense out of the one. We need three more. Back in play. Baby Case Johnson takes the ball. He doesn't really care about beer because he's not old enough to drink. Frost and Frost, they're going to buy free milk for everybody. Johnson would be turning it on. Ball's back out of there. Johnson's there. Nobody near him, so he's turning the ball. Trying to. Yes, he does. That's stolen. No! Calamone makes an attempt, but Johnson's coming through. Puts the ball down. He's at the 30-yard line. Taps once. This could be painful for nobody because we're going to get a goal. And all we care about is the free beer. Wow! Puts the ball in play. Johnson yet again. Pressure being put on by Von Gontard. Johnson fires a big shot downfield, looking for a teammate. Can he find him? Laura Wilson there. Can't quite get a hold of it, neither can Merrick Atani. Ball's left, George Schwitlick. George Schwitlick's gonna get a shot on goal. Oh, and it gets a whistle. Excellent play by George Schwitlick. Mirkatani puts it through the post, puts him one step closer. Back up. Sears puts the ball into play. Mirkatani picks it up. Drops the ball, leaves it to Laura Wilson. Back to Mirkatani. Mirkatani being challenged by Petey Von Gontard. Babyface Johnson. Great opportunity to score here. Johnson taking it close. The downside of this, he's not young enough to drink. He doesn't care about four in the fourth. He might leave it to somebody that's older. No, he, there you go. Jamie Mercatani, a known drinker, gives us four and the four. <coughs> Back at center, they swap directions. Look at this. Von Gontard, breakaway. Nobody near him. Von Gontard turning the ball now. Looking downfield. Oh, Mirakatani! Like a predator. Look at this. <laughs> whether he wants to use the clock or whether he wants to give Mirakatani some time, I can tell you this guy is a good guy. It's probably letting Mirakatani time to come in. Which is this is his first season here. He's a good match for the Villages Polo Club. Glad to have him here. Just like this guy. Look at Babyface Johnson. Turning the ball. Petey Van Gontard coming in, making the back shot. Wow, what a shot. Great pass to Rick Sears. Rick Sears gets the ball, but he's not doing anything with it because he's the umpire. If that were me, I would have taken the ball and gone. Well, it's Rick. Nice shot by Babyface down, looking for American Tani. American Tani takes that ball, taps it once, tries to get past Van Gontard, can't really do it. Ball's dropped on the field, Babyface gets his own pass back, and this could be a goal for Baby. Now, what? American Tani stealing the ball from Babyface did all that work. It's on the. There, he lets him put it through. Oh my head. That will end the game, folks. Seven to five and a half. Macklin Burnsett out on top over United Healthcare. We've got three more chuckers coming up, and it's going to be Citizens versus Macklin Burnsett for all the marbles.
Is that right? Mira Katani, our two umpires on the field, ready to start the last three chuckers that will decide today's activity. Big shot by Talamoni goes downfield. Wow. That was 120 yards. Oh, what a shot. Did But it was a great attempt from the end line. Walton. Dale Walton calling out his teammates. Come on, folks. Open up. Move to a place where you're open. I can hit to you. Not finding that, he takes it himself down the sideboards. Look at this horse race. Calamuna with the back shot. Picked up by Von Gontard, but now picked up by. Jason Cashin, Cashin with the ball, taking it forward. Cashin drives the ball downfield. Sandifer is there. Defensively, Sandifer, nice attempt by Sandifer. Can't quite get it moved. The ball's dropped on the 40-yard line with Del Walton there, and we should get a whistle. <laughs> One means that it's an automatic goal. And rather than bowling the ball in at midfield, like typically happens when a goal happens, it's going to get bowled in right in the mouth of the goal with the teams going the same direction. So, very costly penalty if they can convert it. Looks like they can. Talamoni takes the ball out of danger land. And we get another whistle, though. Talamoni with the ball from midfield goes forward, now at speed. Wow, a little off to the left. Cash in there to defend. Talamoni brings it back on the near side, back to his offside. Look at this, he's gonna get a shot on goal. Talamoni, whoop-pa, we ka, ka There it goes, through the post. Nico Talamoni. Back shot by Talamoni. Looking for Sandifer. Sandifer can't go to it wisely because he might have fouled there. So he leaves the ball and it's picked up now by, oh, we got a whistle. Big shot by Talamoni puts it, oh, wide left. It's the other direction. Walton brings it in from the end line. Cashin out in front, giving him some defense, trying to take player out of the way, giving him space. Walton working his way through traffic. Talamoni there now. Look at this. Walton on a breakaway. Ball's against the boards. Hopefully he can get it off. Oh, it's a horse. Bounces out of the way. Look at this. KC Hoskins drives the ball downfield. Hoskins again on a follow-up. Going, going, going. Oh, just wide right. What a play, Casey Hoskins. Back in play. Jason Cashin coming through for Citizens. Shoulder to shoulder, these horses all match up. They're pushing against each other, trying to get possession of the ball. Oh, we've got a player off. Shot by Talamoni's up in the air. It's going, 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 going. It's wide right. Wow. With three minutes left, it's Walton from the end line. Dill cranks one downfield. This one's going to go downfield. Looking for Casey Hoskins. Hoskins, what a shot by Hoskins. Necking it down the field. Being challenged by Sandifer. Great play by Sandifer. Great play by Pascarella and Escapate. Both defending each other. Overriding. Back shot by Talamonia Stolen. Look at this by Dell Walton. Oh my goodness, folks. We might need a saliva test. He taps the ball, it's going through, but it's backed out of there by Talamoni. Talamoni sends it back the other direction. Picked up by 
Jason Cashin. Cashin backs the ball. And it's picked up by Walton. Walton turning around, heading towards goal again. He's taking the long way home. Walton right in front. Can he touch it? Not enough. It's on the one foot line. Off the end line. Now it's off to the side, 10 feet, but not through the post. Look at that. Cleared out of there. Hoskins, nice shot on goal. A little bit wide, but not on off the field yet, so still in play. This is a shot on goal. It's going to go through. Oh, it's not. Oh, we're getting a signal. We're waiting for umpire's decision. They say, you know what? Hey, that I think it was the Nico Talamone that scored for the wrong team. But I did say that. So he might get a Crooked Cane Award. But all I can say at that point is welcome to the Village's Polo Club. That's what we do here. Back shot by Sandifer. Nicely done. Bounces off a pony. Goes the other direction. Benny Pascarella on a breakaway. Look at this. He might get dinner after all tonight. Pascarella with 30 seconds left. Cranks the ball down. Oh, can't get back to it. First one there. Dell Walton. Turn to the other direction. Now we're going down. Time's running out. Talimony's there. Umpire see no foul there. The ball's back. Going the other direction. Look at this. Hoskins taking it across. And that will end the chucker, folks. So after. watching on this people. Who's playing well today? I mean, unless you chuckers, of course you got some guys that are. So it turned out where this is really wonderful. And then the village is all going to jump out like that. First four weeks, five weeks, because the one is turned out. And then I'll play an eight. And I've got another six weeks worth of healing. I'm not healed by then. So this Saturday is my first time playing. It was easy. We're back in action, folks. Speaking of back in action, it's Dell Walton taking the ball. A little help from his friend, Jason Cashin, gets the boards. Walton reaches out and flips it past, gets past two defenders. Wow, look at that. Puts it under the horse of Hoskins and takes the ball at speed on this black mare. Yes, it's a mare. You can see different looking now. So, shot on goal, Walton. Overrides, picked up now by Hoskins, can't get a hold of it. Now, Escapate, Lynn Escapate taking the ball forward. She's gonna center the ball up, can't quite get it. It goes over the end line, so it'll be a knock-in. I said play, so the bowling comes from the end line. It's one of the few times in polo that the bowling comes from the end line going up and down the field rather than side to side. Out of that, Pascarella picks it up and takes it a good 60 yards down the field before it's dropped, picked up by his teammate, passed back to him. Pascarella on a breakaway. Look at this horse run. Pascarella overrides, but his teammate, Sandifer, passes it back to him. Sandifer again, drives another one downfield. The ball's bouncing. Horse kicks it out front. Sandifer can't get back to it. Escapate takes it forward, and she takes it nicely off to the side, out of danger, from a straight shot to goal. Pascarella that recoups and gets back, makes a back shot, trying to pick it up. Talamone picks the ball up now. Nico Talamone looking for another one. This one's going wide. Can he get to it in time to tap it through? And he does! That are made in Argentina, designed for polo events. Back shot comes off a pony. Picked up by Talamone. Talamone gets away with one. He's off. Dell Walton in pursuit. Look at that horse run. Looks like a greyhound. Actually, looks like a thoroughbred. Walton comes in with a back shot on the near side. Just enough angle to change it. But look at this. Coming through. Von Gontard puts the ball through the post. Backlin burns it. Four minutes left. Second shucker. This is decide this whole tournament. Look at this. Back shot by Von Gontard finds Sandifer. Sandifer on a breakaway. Look at Sandifer. Wow, what an approach shot by Sandifer. He's got the time. He's going to move it once, twice. No, he overrides. Ball bounces over his mallet. 
Picked up by Walton. Walton on the offside, then the near side. Taking the ball downfield. He's got to get past Rick Sears. Barely does. Walton cranks the ball downfield. Look at this horse run. Von Gontard's there to defend. Walton checks up, gives away the line. Ball's backed over to the boards. It goes out of bounds. Do not go get that until behind the bar with Kennedy. Clock stops. Players try and organize, get a good lineup. Ball's put into play. We get a whistle right away. Clock stop. Mecklenburg said he drives a big one downfield. Trying to find a teammate, doesn't find one. Finds instead Jason Cashin. Dale Walton calls him off and then hits the back shot over. Looking to Hoskins. They get past the umpire. Amir Katani gets out of the way, and it's Hoskins, Casey. Ball touches the board, stays on the same line, it looks like. Hoskins comes through, tries to move somebody off the field. Talamoni's there, can't get a hold of it. Leaves the ball. Pascarella, Pascarella can't get a hold of it. Ball's picked up by Cashin. Cashin can't get a hold of it. Somebody obviously didn't pay their taxes. Look at that, Welton coming through now. Takes a hook, ball bounces out front, takes it on the near side, look at this guy. He is on fire, folks. Flips it underneath the horses and gets the whistle there. Cranks one up, it's high, it's high, it's going, going, going. It's through the post, folks! Delmar Walton. Ball's put back into play. Wow, what a shot. Out of the throw in. Takes it downfield. Pascarella's there. Back shot by Pascarella. One inch didn't go far enough. Now look, Cashin. Cashin trying to get past Talamone. Talamone reaches out on the near side, hits the back shot, changing the line just enough, getting it over to teammate. Petey Von Gontard can't control it. Benny leaves it now, off the call from Talamone. Talamone with the ball. Benny's going downfield for the pass. Back shot, Walton out of bounds. And we Ball's gonna be bowled in from the sideboards. Ball's dropped into play. We're gonna hear the horn, the bells, there are the bells. Hell's bells ring and look at this, Von Gontard off with seconds left and he puts the ball, oh it's going wide. A mm. nice shot, puts it through the post. Is that same? Who does that yeah. Rick Sears. <laughs> hey Rick. Going for the cookie. Don't go down the lead. Talamoni takes the ball out of the throw in. Still controlling it. Coming into the play, looks like it's Petey Van Gontar, but it's picked up by Casey Hoskins. Hoskins with a big swing. They override. Two players override. Bouncy field now. End of the game. It's had almost eight and a half chuckers. Coming over, Dell Walton. Chance to be a hero. Citizens down by a half goal. Walton puts it down to the 40 yard line. Takes a shot on goal from the 30 and he puts it through the goal post. Back at center. Ball's put into play. Pascarella takes the ball forward. Nicely taken forward by Pascarella. Picked up now by Talamone. Pascarella goes forward. Look at Pascarella. He's looking for the defender. Talamone trying to get control of the ball. Near side, offside, near side again. Still bouncing. Walton comes in on the near side, flips it out. Trying to find space on the field. Get away from the players. Taps the ball on the near side. Very difficult, folks. That, you've got to know, that's very difficult. Look at this guy carrying the ball on the left side. Across his horse. Coming in, Pascarella with a back shot. Just enough to change the angle. 
and it's a number his teammate, Petey Von Gontard, to get to it. Tail shot called. Look at that, put in, bounced off Dale Walton's horse. Walton picks up the deflected ball, taking it now his direction. Talamone gets in there, puts a back shot in. Talamone going the other way. Walton turns quickly, chance to turn it. Nobody defending, plenty of time. Taking the ball back the other direction, scoring at one end, now he's going the other way. It's Walton. Walton shot on goal from way out. Look at this, folks. It's going, going, going. So! Back in action. Ball bowled in. Talamone picks it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three, 40 yards out. Walton converts. He puts it on the ground, but it doesn't matter. It crosses the post. We're Rick Sears, umpire puts the ball into play. Picked up by Haight. Look at Casey Hoskins, takes the ball forward. Picked up now by Walton. Walton goes to take a shot, and it looks like we got a comp. We got Walton, yet again, out of the throw and takes the ball on the near side twice. Nicely done. Being challenged by Talamone, reaches behind, tries to collect it, can't do it. Escapate changes the line a little bit, leaving the ball now for Jason Cashin. Ball over in. Casey Hoskins with the ball now. Takes it forward, but slipping in and taking control. It looks like it's Petey Von Gontard. Cashin's got time. He turns the ball. He's headed towards that goal. Stolen by Von Gontard, going the other direction now. Uh-oh, Walton, shot on goal, goes through. Whistle happened first. Man, I get it removed by animal services, but it got along with all my dogs, and it seemed really good and didn't chase any horses, and it was all this, and I thought, that dog dies. We need four to defend off the price. So I named it Jenner, and took it down there, and got it fixed, and all that, and brought it back, and now I named it Kate. <laughs> Ball's put back into play. Von Gontard clears it out, trying to find a teammate. Two white shirts override. Sandifer picks it up. He doesn't override, but it's not straight enough for him to maintain possession. And it's turned towards Jason Cashin. Cashin now with the ball down to about the 60 yard line, 55 down, 30. Right in front of the goal, can Cashin put it in? And he does. That might seal the deal for citizens. Ball's back in play. It's tipping down, we get a whistle. The ball, smelling victory. Cranks one way downfield. Tries to get it to Hoskins. Hoskins slowing down, trying to get there, but Talamone's first, gets on the line, takes it forward, turns it, nicely done. Talamone with 30 seconds left, cranks one downfield, looking for Vinny Pascarello. Pascarello with a great pickup. What a pass, looked like a NFL play. Pascarello tries to pass off again to his teammate, Von Gontar, does so nicely. What a play. Talamone to Pascarello, to Von Gontar, through the goal, that will end the game. What a brilliant play by the Macklin-Burnset team. Not enough in not enough time, so the score will be eight and a half to five. Winner of today's game looks like it's gonna be Citizens first. Well done. Sponsoring this, well done. You got it all figured out here? Yeah, well let's start with, uh, let's start with this folks. Now that we're a little bit closer, we're going to work this way. Let's look at down here on the end. This is Nick Babyface Johnson. That's what he looks like up close. And next to him, are you, is his dad? No, but he claims he's not his dad. He doesn't want to pay for this guy's high school education. That's why he's saying he's not dead. Jamie Mericatani. Laura Wilson. Coco and George. Yeah, I might be 
be wrong. So just tell me. It would be the first time I'm ever wrong, but you can take advantage of it. Is this your first organized tournament you played in? It's the first organized tournament. They play together here at the village, so you're welcome here. Now, speaking of pairs, I'm going to block. You know, let's, I'm going to park here only because I'm getting a little back up there, but we got a pair of Pascarellas, Janice and Vinny. Next to them, Peter Van Gantar. Next to them, Nico Talamani. And next to him, Stan Sandler. That's our second place team today. And our winners today are Lynn Escapite. You might remember her from last week. Jason Cashin. You might to remember him from last week. Casey Hoskins. You might not remember him ever. And on the end, oh gosh, I'm in trouble now. Uh, no, Bill is going to kill me. Uh, and then Del Walt, you might remember him from last week too. So we want to thank everybody for participating. This is. Yes, we did. We did pick a best playing pony, and they should be heading this way. They are. Huh? <laughs> Vinny, you can stay where you are. Uh, but we'll start with our third place team. Guys, thank you for participating and showing up. It was awesome. You really did play well. You are finalists. You made it. Hey, consider this a bronze medal. Yeah, what we got to figure out now in the Switlick family, who's going to wear the hat? Huh? Who's going to wear the hat in the Switlick family? She defers to him and he says, no, you're going to do it. We'll, we'll come up with another hat. That way you can share equal time. Second place today, the Pascarellas. Scott Gartar, the injured Nico, Stan Sandifer. Those hats are specially designed for fishing. If you don't fish, give it to somebody that does. Do not give that to Vinny because I've been with him fishing. He really doesn't fish. He makes the boat lighter by drinking the beer. So there we go. For our winners today, Lynn Escapite. Jason Cashin. Casey Hoskins and Del Walton. These are body bags. This, these, these are body bags, Village's body bags, in case you ever lose, which apparently you have no intentions of doing since you've been here. I, I did want to say for you, Lynn, you've got some mail that came to the club because you're up here so much. So, you know, you might like that before you go. With, with all of this activity, uh, keep in mind, Paige is out of, out of town, so we can do whatever we want right now. If you guys want to set some bonfires up here or whatever, we can stay here all night, no issue. The best player of the day, best, the, the MVP, most valuable player, this week goes to uh, a little bit, well, I don't want to tell you what the pants size is, because it might give it away. But I will tell you this, how it was decided was very unique. And you can look at a polo game and you can think, oh man, look at that guy. He scored a bunch of goals, he should be the MVP. It's a team sport, nothing happens without a team working together. And in today's game, we saw one player that not only scored a goal in their first, uh, their first outing, they really should have been awarded another goal because they saw a ball in front of the goal, left it, took out the defensive player, rode him out of the way to allow their teammate to score, and then later in the game came off their horse and 30 seconds later was riding somebody off back into play. Stan Sandifer. <laughs>
Wait, they want to get a picture of me holding a handing stand in his pants? I don't know if I want to be involved in that. All right, and then we also hand out a uh, award to the best playing pony. Um, they're kind of the true athletes. I think everybody on stage would say the horses really are the true athletes. And you can ask any one of them that they'd rather play, uh, you know, an excellent horse or a bad horse. It's always the, you know the best horse you can get because it makes us look better. So, best playing pony today goes to the Great Dane right down front here. <laughs> Because nobody brought a horse here. But I can tell you who the horse went to. Uh, they're still on the way. Well, if, if the horse goes to Nico Talamoni, and it was his his fifth chucker. Yeah, your fifth chucker. Which, where is it? Okay, well. Then bring the great thing out. As a substitute, we're going to put the thing on the great thing. goes to Nico Talamoni on his horse called Rocky. <laughs> called Balita. And the horse is owned by the Kashik family, which is on the other team, so that's kind of whatever. There we go. Take that on, put it on your horse. I actually had a horse that won Best Plank Pony. I could not bring it up here because it would not stand for any of this. So enjoy it.